Hey guys, welcome back for another video. As you can see, we're going to be reviewing a 2020-2021 season Tom Brady Tampa Bay Buccaneers away jersey. And regardless of how you feel about the Buccaneers, you can't deny the fact that Tom Brady is one of the best football players to ever play the game. And with seven Super Bowl rings, there's just no denying that I was going to pick up a Tom Brady jersey for my collection. So without further ado, let's check out the jersey. This is a Nike Vapor Untouchable jersey, and it is one of the nicest, cleanest looking jerseys that I've ever purchased. With that uh, being said, the reason why I feel that way um, is just the patches on these things are just so clean. These pirate ship patches look really good on this jersey. All the stitching on this jersey came out really nice. So as you may know, the Fanatics company has taken over, kind of setting the jerseys up for Nike. Nike still gets their deal for, for being on the jersey, but a lot of the Nike jerseys are now being produced by Fanatics themselves in their, their warehouse or shop or whatever you want to call it. And that allows us to have more access to the jerseys faster and they can you know not have to produce so many over quantity of jerseys and ship them overseas and end up having a bunch of players uh, get traded and end up with all these jerseys they have to sell for super cheap. So, you know, if if you are going to be picking up a jersey, just know that uh, if you like a certain player, you may want to pick him up right after he gets traded uh, because it'll probably be pretty quick that they sell out of their jersey now that they have this new Fanatics deal in place. So there's probably not going to be a lot of Josh Freeman jerseys that set on the website for years and years like it's been in the past. So if you want a particular jersey, you better pick it up while they have it because odds are they're not printing a whole lot like they used to be. Uh, but anyway, back to the jersey. Uh, this jersey has one flaw on it that really bugs me. When I first bought this jersey or first opened it out of the package, I was really bummed. And I was like, man, I can't even wear this jersey because I'm so particular about my jerseys that I felt like everyone was going to notice or think it was a fake or something like that. And I think due to Fanatics taking over, there's a little bit of quality control issue here on this jersey um, that probably wouldn't have happened if it was uh, manufactured over at Nike overseas. But if you didn't notice, the NFL Shield logo, as perfect as this jersey is, is crooked. And that just really, really bugs me. I really wanted to exchange this jersey and send it back, but I just couldn't do that based on the fact that this jersey is just not available. If I would have sent this jersey back, there's no telling when I would have got it replaced or if I would have been able to get it replaced at all. And with the risk of you know losing out on the fact that this tag has a 2020, uh, 2020 and 2021 season tag on it, um, I feel like it's going to be worth more based on the fact that it was made during the year that they won the Super Bowl. And I really didn't want to risk returning it and then you know getting a uh, like 2021, 2022 uh, uh, jersey that, you know, may not be as valuable being that it was made, you know, for this upcoming season, which, you know, they haven't won the Super Bowl for. So uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but I just didn't want to risk it. So I'm going to hold on to this jersey, at least for the time being. You know, if I can snag one of the uh, other 2020, uh, 2020, 2021 season jerseys and and still be able to, uh, get the vapor untouchable model I probably will but uh, overall outside of the patch issue uh, this is a really awesome jersey so uh, the the numbers on the back the numbers on the front uh, they all look really good this is a medium if I uh, didn't get a catchy in my last video I do buy medium vapor untouchable jerseys uh, based on my size I'm a small in the uh, the old limited jerseys and the old uh, replica style jerseys that they still sell. They still sell the uh, the screen printed jerseys in the kind of model that uh, was the uh, last generation. So they don't they don't have screen printed vapor untouchable jerseys, but they uh, they just fit better in a small. Those jerseys are a little bit longer and they fit more like a football jersey. This uh, is more like a t shirt. Uh, as you see, when I lift my arms, the, the bottom raises up pretty easy. So I've never been a fan of how that fits. But uh, for being a medium, um, 
this fits pretty well. I did get into a car accident two months ago, so I've lost probably between 15 and 20 pounds from not being able to work out. So uh, I am a lot lighter weight than I typically am right now, but, uh, but this jersey still fits me well. Give you another view of it. But based on the fact that I did uh, really want the Vapor Untouchable jersey and they just don't happen to come with a Super Bowl patch, um, I did happen to just be scrolling around online one day after the Super Bowl and I did find a really cool pickup and that is a Tom Brady Super Bowl patch jersey. So I do have uh, the jersey. This is a size medium as well. Like I mentioned, I normally wear a small in these jerseys, but I picked up a medium just because for collecting purposes, um, I just wanted to get one in a medium size just in case I resell it later. There's probably a little bit bigger market for a medium. It's a uh, you know more average size for, for most people out there. But uh, the Super Bowl patch is on there, um, but these are screen printed numbers. So this isn't a jersey that you would typically see me wear, which is why it's still in the packaging um, on top of its collectible value. But uh, if you look at some of the old Tom Brady uh, Patriots jerseys, um, like Super Bowl 51, Super Bowl 53, those jerseys go for a pretty good amount. And so I wouldn't mind wearing this jersey just because it doesn't have a Super Bowl patch on it. But uh, I still have the tags on this one. I, like I said, I'm, I'm just not going to wear it with the, uh, the issue that it has on the collar. But uh, overall, it is a super nice jersey to have in the collection. And it looks really good. Um, I'm just gonna kind of wait it out and see what happens um, with the with the jersey stock online and see what I can get a hold of. Uh, but for the time being, I'm glad I got to show it to you guys. If you guys have any questions or want to see it more in detail, please let me know. But uh, drop a comment down below, and I hope to see you in the next video.